LJ. This tastes really cartoony. <laughs> Comic book version. Welcome to Uyga.com. I'm LJ and this is The Squeeze. Today we're going to talk about independence and um, in, obs in observation of the 4th of July that's coming up. I just wanted to say a few things to you all and perhaps even provoke your own God given independence. And independence is a condition of a nation or a state or a country or an individual in which its residents and population or some portion thereof exercise self-government and usually um, sovereignty over its territory. Attainment of independence should not be confused with revolution, of course not, of course not, um, but it is sort of a pseudo-revolution, which typically refers to the violent overthrow of a ruling authority. Um, while some revolutions seek and achieve national independence, others aim only to redistribute power. <coughs> uh, housing <coughs> bubble bust. <coughs> so today, again, we are celebrating our independence. We are celebrating our human right and our liberty. Um, another word that, that typically goes right along with this is autonomy. It's another word that may well describe independence as in my kids making their own peanut butter and jelly sandwiches um, or wiping until their tissue is clean or tying their own shoes. This is their independence, which much like the independence as a condition of the nation, country, and or state or individuals in the state, this also describes the condition of the individual. So my video today is for you viewers. I would like to exercise my independence, again, not quite revolution, by renouncing my silence and expressing my citizenship through open communication of my values and beliefs by Article 19 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Here it comes. Are you ready for my pseudo-revolution distinguishable expression of independence? Are you ready? I, LJ of You Eager, Chief Eagerly and Pro Novice Vlogger, would like to share with you one. First, my thoughts on Taxes. So shall we begin? I am currently employed, and with no certainty that I will remain employed, I prefer to pay taxes on my income, including unemployment, in order to hopefully ensure that I will be permitted in the event of job loss to sit at home for at least six months and draw a serial wage for those affected by similar circumstances while I eliminate my rival posses on Xbox 360's live Red Redemption, that is a Red Dead Redemption, or battle Zeus and other Olympians on God of War 3. Those are my thoughts on taxes. Two. 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 My thoughts on abortion. Hold tight, because this one might be a little rough. Well, if you're picking up a pregnancy test at the Dollar Tree, you're probably dealing with an individual, or you are an individual, in one of two scenarios. Either you are extremely frugal, that, that's a possibility, I, I could go that route. I, I pick up lots of things from the Dollar Tree. Or you have a mindset of utter denial. Utter denial. So you can't afford a child, so you couldn't necessarily afford the risk of unplanned pregnancy, of course. Abort the child...
Utter denial. Hells no. My solution? Perhaps try an adoption agency uh, or uh, uh, Craigslist, posting the child uh, on Craigslist for people to uh, have first dibs on the adoption. That, that might get them good home pretty quick. I'm just joking. It's it some really weird. I'm an eBay fan myself. It's some really freaky people on Craigslist. I'm just joking. Three. My thoughts on religion in schools. <sighs> Where do we begin? Our Father, help me with this part of my blog. <laughs> Well, if you are a product of our fine American public school system like myself, or that you can agree that that prayer needs to continue being encouraged. Um, the, the bottom line is, is that... All right, on to the next one. Four. My thoughts on the legalization of marijuana in the United States. Hells no. We're behind in everything else. <laughs> Technology, life expectancy, post-grad education, energy efficiencies, green innovations. So we're pretty much on target by not having weed. I think, I think that we can, we're okay for right now. Now, once we check off some of the other things on our list, it'll be a consideration. We'll come back. I mean, obviously we have free health care now, so it's pretty much the next step following free health care. Five, five, um, five. My feelings um, on censorship, uh, specifically on public channels of mass communication. Um, and I don't really <laughs> All right.